So hey, how does your back feel after a long day at the office or school? What about your neck after you've been looking down at your phone for hours? We can't live without our gadgets and gizmos, but they can wreak havoc down at your phone for hours. Not careful. And even if your eyes aren't constantly glued to a screen, this short stretching routine can still help anyone who's dealing with neck, shoulder, and back pain. So let's start off with a couple stretches for your neck. The Owl Exercise Sit down in a chair with your back straight and your chest open. Now, turn your head and your chest open. Owl! Nah, I'm just kidding, don't do that. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and your neck is centered. Slowly and carefully turn your head to the right as far as you can. Stay in this position for a couple of seconds and then tip your chin down toward your shoulder. To increase the stretch, gently press on the back of your head with your right hand. Hold it for half a minute, then switch sides. The owl exercise stretches the muscles that go from your collarbone and breastbone to behind your ears. They can get pretty overworked holding your head up all day. But they usually do a good job as long as you're always looking straight ahead. Since most of us spend a lot of time looking down at a computer or phone, that's when we really get a literal pain in the neck. Forward Neck Bend Again, sit up straight with your chest out and your shoulders back. Next, place your palms on the back of your head and interlock your fingers. You're now under arrest. <laughs> no, I'm kidding again. Okay, from this position, start to lower your chin toward your chest. You should do this movement slowly and carefully. Avoid sharp or sudden moves at all costs. You don't want to end up hurting yourself. To increase the effectiveness of this stretch, you can apply some pressure to your head by pulling it down with your palms. Just don't push yourself too hard. Tuck your chin down as far as it'll comfortably go. Hold your head in this position for about half a minute. Then slowly go back up to where you started. This exercise helps stretch the muscles on the back and sides of your neck, as well as your upper back muscles. They tend to get strained from poor posture as well. Now, let's move on to those shoulders. The Eagle Pose While standing or sitting straight, spread your arms out to the sides and then cross them in front of your face so that your left elbow is over the right one. The most important thing is that you feel a stretch along your upper back and shoulders. Now, slowly lower your chin down toward your chest. This will stretch more muscles in your neck and back. Hold this position for about half a minute, then change sides with your right elbow crossed over the left one this time. The 90-90 stretch Stand in the doorway and hold your arms up so that both your elbows and armpits make 90-degree angles, hence the name of the stretch. Put both arms on the sides of the door frame and move one foot forward. Then lean a bit forward while bracing yourself against the door frame. Stay in this position for about a half a minute, then step back to where you started. Do 2-3 to three reps. This exercise will really stretch the front part of your deltoids as well as your pecs. Those are the main muscles in your shoulders and chest. Pat on the back. Lift your right arm over your head and bend it at the elbow so that your right hand rests between your shoulder blades, almost as if you're giving yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. Put your left hand on your right elbow and carefully pull your right arm to the left. Make sure you do everything very gently and slowly. Stay in this position for about a half a minute then repeat the same movement on the other side. By doing this exercise, you stretch not only the large flat back and neck muscles like your traps and lats, but also the muscles located under your arms. Butterfly Wings You know the drill by now. Sit or stand straight with your chest out. Touch your fingers to your shoulders while keeping your elbows pointed out to the sides. From there, pull your elbows as far back as they'll go. Hold this position for about 10 seconds. After that, move your elbows forward and touch them in front of your body. And return to the starting position. Do 8-10 to 10 reps. This exercise effectively stretches your chest muscles as well as your entire upper back. Wall sits. Stand with your back leaning on a wall. 
Now, you'll slowly move your feet away from it while sliding down into a seated position, leaning on a wall, in an invisible chair. Your spine should be straight, while your knees will make 90-degree angles. Keep pressing into the wall with your lower back. Stay in this position for about 10 seconds, then, just as slowly, slide up the wall to the starting position. Do 8 to 12 reps. This exercise will not only stretch your lower back, it's also a nice will not only stretch your lower leg muscles. Rotation stretches Sit down in a chair, a real chair this time, with your feet flat on the floor and your hands placed on the back of your head with your fingers interlocked. While keeping your spine straight and your hips squared, carefully twist your upper body to the right. Stay in this position for 10 seconds. Then, carefully, turn your body to the left. Do 3-5 to five reps on each side with this one. Rotation stretches help relieve lower back pain by strengthening the core and lower back muscles. Superman Stretch Whew. Lie on the floor belly down with your arms out in front of you. Your legs should be stretched as well and placed flat on the floor. Then, you'll want to lift your arms and legs simultaneously off the floor as high as you can. Engage your glutes as well as your arm and leg muscles to hold this flying Superman pose for a couple of seconds. Then slowly lower yourself back to the floor and rest for a few more seconds. Do 10 reps. The Superman exercise helps build strong back extensor muscles, which is really important if you want to avoid lower back pain. On top of that, working these muscles helps you build good posture, which will prevent back pain in the future. You see, if the extensors are weak, they can't support your spine and pelvis properly, so you might develop pain in that region. Now, nothing too hard, right? You don't need any particular equipment, and the whole stretching workout takes no longer than 10 minutes to do. Do a set of these exercises every day, and you'll feel more flexible and pain-free in no time. But again, it's crucial that you do all the exercises slowly and smoothly, without any jerks or sharp movements. If you feel that after these stretches your pain gets worse, well that's a sign it's time to go see the doctor ASAP. Now, do you know any other effective stretching exercises? Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey! Don't go sit in your invisible chair again just yet! We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy! Stay on the Bright Side of Life!